I was talking to a CEO of a Korean startup the other day, and I learned something really interesting. What he said was, it is super difficult in Korea to get further investment for a bunch of startups because the interest rates are high, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So now founders are being pressured to find that next product or feature that's going to drive incredible revenue that will allow them to either get their next round of funding or to simply not have to get funding. The problem is a lot of these founders started their companies when they didn't need to do this discovery of new features. They just had the money. But what do you do in a situation where money's not flowing in anymore? That's where I want to introduce the concept of product discovery. So product discovery is figuring out that right product for the customer and for the business, right? And because this next product or feature, in order to build value for the customer. It has to be something that customers really want and need and love. It has to be usable. I mean, it has to be possible to make it. It can't just be like a unicorn. But it also has to add a ton of value for the company. That could be either in the form of money, which is the easiest, or it can build strategic value. For example, Google has Google Docs. Does Google Docs bring in a lot of money? Not really. But what it does is it brings in a lot of users who want to use Google Docs. And then Google finds a way to monetize them or make money off of them later, such as when they do Google searches or whatnot. So now in this environment where it's very difficult to raise money, founders have to do product discovery. But a lot of founders that I talk to here in Korea are not very comfortable, nor they have they ever done it before. So in the next series of videos, I want to talk about ways to do product discovery. In fact, I'm working with a client right now and I'm helping them with product discovery and I'd like to share some of the learnings that I've been teaching them. Thanks.